Next up here, we've got Indie Developer of the Year. Notice that we have a separate category for Indie Game of the Year. Keep that in mind, please. Fergus. I like how we don't support the uh, AAA Developer of the Year, <laughs> just the Indie guys. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's Ubisoft, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We've got Transistor from (laughs) Supergiant Studios. Anarchy. I'll just I'll just write the games down that they're known for. Uh, Monument Valley. That would be us two. Two L's. Us two. (laughs) Valley. Valley. Shovel Knight. Do these have to be full releases? From Yacht Club or dang. That's Uh, why I voted and show up. I mean, they do get an edge if they have a full release and also have, like, other things going on. Okay, well, I'll bring it up then. Yep. Um, (laughs) Shovel Knight by Yacht Club Games. And then we've got Nicholas, who... So we'll call them... We'll do Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Because they worked on Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And... Sorry. And 1001 Spikes. Um... Then you get Jazz Punk by Necrophone. And then you got the, jeez, the masochists at uh, Deconstruct Team who made Gods Will Be Watching. Threes by Servo LLC. That sounds weird. It does sound weird. If, yeah. And then Escape Goat 2 from Magical Time Bean. And, sir, you are being hunted. Sir, you are being hunted. By Big Robot. Oh, aren't you hunted by Big Robots? <laughs> oh, can, is that what? a full release? Yes. Finally? Yes. Yeah, it's out. Yeah. Is it still awful? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> I, I'm I didn't, didn't, in, in broken? I didn't revisit because they've promised co-op, and I'm going to go back when they add co-op. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Anything else to add? It sounded like, Jason, you were chewing on something. I, I would put Starbound, Chucklefish. I mean... I know they. I just. I have certain reasons why I would put them out there, but. Okay. And this is kind of the category I was speaking but to earlier. They're still in early access. And that's where I have to argue my way into it. Okay. Well, and we'll, I mean, if we'll, you're gonna. I, I, early I, access, I, I think they need to have a release this year. Okay. Because I mean, it does extend beyond just their game, but they will get their time when they're. I know, and that's where I. That's why I eliminated okay. them from that last category. Okay. I I will just say Chucklefish is yeah. is by far one of the most connected uh, indie developers out there right now. Like they just really are on top of like, hey, this is exactly what's going on with the game, and I really like that. I believe that's guys true. Guys doing uh, Force are the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you get updates all the time from them. Yeah, that's nice. Well, the Dean is got Dean and Chad is going to kill us for not talking about Divinity. It's come up several times, but you just that we don't have any. I didn't play that Our game. Our two Divinity guys are not, yeah, here. not here. No idea what it is. It's an RPG. Tactical. Oh, I know what it is. I just... I haven't played it. That's what I mean. But if it makes you feel better, the Banner Saga hasn't been talked about either. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Nothing else to add. Although then, I thought I brought Banner Saga. I maybe it didn't get voted on. I remember seeing Banner Saga. Yeah, I think I list. saw it, but... Yeah, I put, I it, I put it, it out there. I have yeah. it. I haven't played it. I thought it was in music for a second, but it's not. Anyway, focusing here... <laughs> nah. Um, I'm going to cut Transistor. <coughs> yeah, I was going to say cut that one. Can you speak to this Jaws punk? <laughs> Jaws okay, punk. It's thing. just weird. <laughs> it's weird, but it's really fucking playable. Oh, I just, it is. I was just, I was just in terms of your spelling there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jaws punk. Jaws, Jaws punk. Yeah, I mean, I think Justin nailed it when he described it to me before I played it, with, which was it's... Super weird and random, but it's not one of those games where you have no idea what's going on. Like it's it's really random, but you you still feel like you're in complete control and you know how to move the story forward. And I kind of at some point got over games being weird for weird sake. So um, the I, extra thought that went in there, and they fucking had a demolition man joke in the game, yeah. and so that wins all kinds. That's th- some good jokes. I think I know where I'm leaning, but yeah. I won't probably mention it unless it gets deleted. Uh, escape Goat say Escape Goat 2 standing out to me. Yeah. And Sir. But then also name. Sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That one was just like, it was they like, hey, d- we're making a game, and then there was like nothing, and then I guess they released it without me knowing, So, they that, had, which was pretty difficult to do, considering that I visit the developers 
news website all the time. Oh, well, I thought I thought I thought I saw a lot of Steam updates to that, but um, well, I just didn't. I never. I, I didn't. I don't have the game, so I didn't see the updates. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Yep. But I do. I, I think I should have known more about the game in terms of its development. Just the fact that you question whether it was released this year, right? Which was kind of a problem, I think. Um, three, Nick, Nick, threes stands out to me. So threes. This is this just goes back to what I brought up earlier. Those yeah. dudes have had to fucking fight off the clones and have been like super civil about it and mm-hmm. super like they are paving the way for other indie developers to like when they run into these problems because it really fuck. I forget what the, what is the name of the other game. Twenty. It's twenty forty eight. Twenty forty eight. Like people know that game before they know threes. Yeah. And threes is just so well designed and yeah you didn't have to go. They kind of went above and beyond with some of the like the character elements of it. But it just plays so damn well. Like that was the game this year. There's yeah. just like so well designed for touch interfaces, and when that happens, yes. it really stands out to me. And to see that kind of get ripped off um, made me made me sad. But also that they kept fighting, fighting it, and and but weren't like making them take this stuff off the app stores, and like they were as cool as they could be, and they should have made a lot more money off that game than... They really should have. have. And there were a lot of like cool articles just about the game-making process that a team of threes went behind and how like, they, they would put their game out there and people would try it out, and they're like, I really like this, but I don't like this. And so they were really flexible in cutting content and just really refining what the game turned out to be. And then it just turned out that their biggest problem was that they charged money for it, and then someone's like, oh, it's just one of these number combining games, and then 2048's out yeah. there. And so it was just kind of frustrating. I had a lot of respect for the team at threes. Well, it is yeah. just another number combined. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> it has a nice so good Jordan, Jordan's been making one while we've been here. All right, so in the same <laughs> light, defend Monument Valley for me. Do they stand out in a similar way? Well, they uh, they, they've been, soon. their extracurricular has been, uh, aside from making just a beautiful game, has been battling the price problem on yeah. the app stores. Like, yeah. the, the, you have to pay money for Monument Valley and their DLC is going to cost you a couple extra bucks too. And But there's the game isn't riddled with free-to-play free to, free to play bullshit. It no. doesn't need to be. The game's still reasonably priced. I think so. And um, I that's I like to see developers like kind of helping improve the industry in that regard. So yeah. that's kind of where my votes go with, with, with this category is great game and above and beyond elsewhere in the community. Um, that being said, I would lean towards cutting Jazz Bond. Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I would cut Binding of Isaac. Uh, well, 1001 Spikes, Binding of Isaac. I mean, I mean, really it's good. more of a, hey, well, you released two great games in one What year. was impressive yeah. to me about Binding of Isaac was that they were able to take a game that was already a fantastic game and remake it into a game that was equally, if not more, fun to play, which isn't an easy feat. Yeah. I mean, you That's can't because they literally just reskinned a game and made it more fun. And I, I think, from a development standpoint, that's tough to do. I think Jazz Punk's not holding up. Yeah, I don't think Jazz Punk holds up. It's because I don't know the rest of their stories. Shovel Knight for me, like the game is awesome. That's more of a dedication to their craft. Te- yeah, techni- technically, it's cool because the game follows the rules of old NES games. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's uh, I, that's what makes it stand out a little bit. Can we have five? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just have five now? <laughs> I mean, I would. Um, I, th- Binding of Isaac and Shovel Knight are the those are the two that those are the two that stand out because these guys. I like what guys will be watching. Did <laughs> I love them fighting for their game? So. Um, yeah. Super super win the game. The you have to win the game. That his sequel just got released this year. I haven't played it yet, but oh, I yeah? really like the. Uh, his first one. And you guys want to talk about like faithfully recreating a game like he like recreating the CRT monitor like bubble <laughs> and shading. So and the game and the game was just fun. So I, I assume the new one he just released has got to be fun too. For me with Monument Valley, the fact that all they're doing is battling the price game with the iOS store, it's like Everybody knows when you get into mobile development that you have to battle the price game if you want to make but money. So that's not that's not unique to me, really. But no, but but they're going the extra step and like talking about it in the press and like they're actually trying to make the issue more more of a I don't know. They're being more proactive with it than yeah. just complaining. It they're not just sitting back complaining about it. They're talking through why trying and to, trying to fix the problem. Yeah, I mean, I. Th- I could cut these two, Shovel Knight and Binding of okay. Isaac, and get done to our finals. Anybody that's have a that's with fine. That? Yeah, because they're they're actually kind of in the same category where they just 
it's a craft accomplishment mm -hmm. for with what they did. Uh, I want to go with threes. I'd go with God's will be watching. Okay. I would go with threes. I'm going to go with God's will be watching. Cool. I like people who make games yeah. that aren't like what people want them to be. It's yeah. like, this was my vision for the game, so you can either like it or you can go to hell. Yeah. Which story do you like more, Jordan? I'm uh, creating my own list in chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Super win the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm recommending things I'm, over here. My vote's not going to count since I'm at Monument Valley. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't mm. seen. I just any, really I seen any of those I just games. really think that you know God's will be watching. It's just such I don't a even know what that is. ballsy. <laughs> it's just such a ballsy right. move for a game developer. It's a game that's so frustrating that a lot of people won't even buy it, but they don't care. Is it on PC or yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a Steam game. All right, I think we're gonna so go. So we're two and two. I, th I, you guys have kind of swayed me, so um, I'm okay with. What were the, the votes? Curious. I, it's like I like what the three is guys. Shovel Knight. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, God's will be watching is a clear second. So okay. It's got, the game developer side of me relates more with the God's will be watching people. <laughs> yeah, and, and just be and just being involved in the indie scene. Just I, I had not experienced or even seen a game like that in a long time and aside from them sticking to their guns the fact that then they stuck to their guns but also added like 19 right. other difficulty settings <laughs> to the right. game to be like yeah. okay, if you want to play it like here yeah so um gods will be watching is our in oh, gods <laughs> deconstruct, deconstruct team, team yeah is our indie developer of the year for gods will be watching and runners up are us two from monument valley and servo llc for threes <laughs> That's why they're indie.